Hi there. Now, in this second part, we're asked to find the distance AC, giving your answer in the form root A over B, where A and B are integers for two marks. And just as a reminder, in the first part, we had to find the coordinates of B and C. And we discovered that at C, the coordinates here would be 0, 3 quarters. So I'm just going to mark in the fact that that's 3 quarters the way up the y-axis here. OK? And I'll also mark in the point that at B, the x-coordinate here, we found to be 5 quarters. So at B, then, we've got this point here at 5 quarters. So if you'd like to have a go at this, find the distance AC, then I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So for this second part, then, we've got to get the distance AC. And to do this, it's just simply the distance between two points, where essentially what we're doing is considering Pythagoras' theorem from this triangle in here. This would be the hypotenuse AC. So AC squared would equal this side squared plus this side squared. And we know the length of this side. It is basically one unit, OK? Distance from the y-axis to A, one unit. And as for the distance up here, that's going to be the difference between the y-coordinates, one here and the three quarters here. So that's going to be one quarter. We'll just put that up there as being one quarter. OK? So when it comes to working out AC, AC will be the square root then of the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So that would be one squared plus one quarter all squared. And if we work this out, we're going to get one whole one here plus one sixteenth, a total of seventeen sixteenths, which we need to square root. And we're looking at a length here, so we don't need plus or minus. And this is the same as the square root of the top, which we can't really do, so we'll just leave that as root 17. But we can square root 16, which is 4. And we've got this in the form root of a over b, where a and b are integers. a would be 17, and b would be the 4. OK, well, moving on. In the next part, part 3, OK, what we've got to do is find the area of the shaded region for four marks. That's this region in here. So again, if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now, to calculate this area here, this shaded area, what I'm going to be doing is working out what the area under the graph is. That is from this point at A. Let's just project down onto the x-axis here. I'll call this point here D. OK? And we need to work out the area underneath the graph from A to the point of contact of the curve with the x-axis. Now that point of contact is going to be when y equals 0. And when y equals 0, you've got x minus 2 to the power 4 equals 0. That's got to mean that x has to be 2. So this is the point 2. So we're integrating, to get this area under the curve, we're integrating between x equals 1, this point here at d, all the way to 2. And then what I'm going to do after that is take away the area of the triangle. A, D, B. And that will leave us with the shaded area. So what I'll do is, let's just put that down first of all, how we're going to get that shaded area. Okay, the shaded area is going to be equal to the area, okay, under the curve, that will be A, D to this point here. I'll call this point E actually, okay, so we'll say area 
A, D, E. And then from this, we're going to subtract the area of the triangle. Okay, area of the triangle, and that would be A, D, B. Okay, area of triangle, A, D, B. So, to get the area under the curve, the area A, D, E, I need to integrate the curve with respect to x between the limits x equals 1 and x equals 2. So we're integrating between 1 and 2 the curve, which is x minus 2 all to the power 4. And we integrate that with respect to x. So that's all of that area underneath the curve. Now I'm going to subtract the other triangle and I'm going to use the formula half the base times the height. So the base is the difference between 1 to 5 quarters. So that's going to be 1 quarter there. So base has a length of 1 quarter. And the height, well, that's one unit, the y value for a. OK, so let's just move on now. Now, integrating x minus 2 to the power 4 will give us x minus 2 all to the power 5 divided by 5. So I'm going to put 1 fifth there. And this is between the limits then, put them in square brackets, between 1 and 2. Working out the air of the triangle, well that comes to minus 1 eighth. And so if we now substitute our limits into here, we're going to have 1 fifth multiplied by, and putting 2 through gives us 2 take away 2, which is 0. 0 to the power 5 is 0. And then from this, I would need to subtract what we get when we put 1 through. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Minus 1 to the power 5 is minus 1. So you're ending up with minus, minus 1 there. OK? And then you've got your area of the triangle, minus 1 eighth on the end. So here you've got plus 1, 1 fifth times plus 1 is 1 fifth. 1 fifth minus 1 eighth, that comes to 3 fortieths. So the shaded area is 3 fortieths. I'm just going to write units squared. You don't have to, but I'm going to write that in just because I'm finding an area. Okay, 